Do you like Pikachu? Well good, because that's what this video is all about today. As you can see in front of us, uh, we do have the Shining Legends pin collection with the Pikachu pin and uh, promo card there and, you know, Pikachu all over the packaging. This is uh, the second pin collection along with the Mewtwo one that I opened a while ago. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And the reason I got this, actually, is because Black Friday was recently, and there have been some pretty great Black Friday deals. I uh, managed to get this for like £10. Anyway, that's not important. Let's dive straight into this. Uh, that's the back of the packaging. If anyone wants to read about who this really obscure Pokémon is, you might have seen him uh, once or twice in one or two promotional uh, bits of information. Anyway, as with other Shining Legend stuff, this is the smaller set, it's got like 70 cards in it or something and each pack you are guaranteed to get at the very least a hollow which is pretty darn cool. Uh, I managed to get some pretty good pulls in the Elite Trainer box that I got uh, a while ago. Anyway, this is the pin that comes with it, very nice looking Pikachu there. I like that his head is a bit stylized. it's a bit bigger than it should be or ever. But yeah, I like this version of Pikachu quite a lot. So we'll put him to the side there. This is the promo card that comes with it. Uh, very nice bit of art there. There we are, we are focused, good. Very holographic, obviously, as with most uh, promo cards. Uh, that is the number, if anyone's interested. And, of course, you get three packs, and I believe a code card somewhere, although I could... Ah, there we are. Code card's behind there. Let's put that off to one side. And these are the three packs that come with. Ooh, okay, we got two Mewtwo's and a Red Gensect. So, we're going to go ahead and go Mewtwo, Red Gensect, Mewtwo for a bit of variety. Not that the pack design actually has any influence. Also, to the side there, I have a uh, Mythical Collection... Shining Legends! Sorry, Shining Legends uh, sleeve here, just in case I do manage to pull a GX or, you know, possibly a Super Rare or something. Uh, if you are interested in watching my Shining Legends Elite Trainer box, just a hint, I did actually pull a Secret Rare there. Uh, yeah, Secret Rare, isn't it? When it's the number over the amount of set. So, for example, 81 out of 79 or something. I can't remember how many are in this set, but it's close. Anyway, let's put four to the front, because I believe it's the same format as Sun and Moon. And we begin with a Water Energy. We have a Lipod, or Leopard. Ooh, okay, a Feraligator. Uh, always a bit weird that it's an uncommon and not a rare. Ooh, okay, we have a Warp Energy. We have a Toracat. Plusle, uh, including a Minon there. We've got a Buizel. A Totodile. A Tokol. Tokol? Tokol. I, do you know, actually, after I pronounce it that way, I don't know how to pronounce it anymore. Am I pronouncing it right? Anyway, we've got a reverse hollow Pikachu. I do like that art. I feel like that's been in another set or something very similar before. And our rare, which will be a hollow at the very least, is... Ooh, it's an Arceus. Hell... Oh, man. It's a Shining Arceus. Sorry, I... For a second, I was just like, oh, that's cool. They've just made his art shiny. And then I was like, wait... That's what they do for shine. <gasps> That's so cool. That is his number there. That is a... Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's a good looking card. Jump cut. Sorry, I just had to actually check for myself. Uh, for a second, I thought I'd read this as a secret rare. It's not actually. It's 53 or 73, I believe. Man, well, that... That's pretty good luck so far. Um, I know Shining Pokemon is still technically hollow and they're still within the set, but that is really cool. I've never pulled a Shining Pokemon before. So let's get on to the second pack. Obviously, Shining uh, Pokemon were in the Gen 4 packs, I think, like Diamond and Pearl onwards. They may have appeared before then. I'm not actually sure. That's where I kind of fell off uh, on the trading card thing. Then they got back into it around Dragon's Exalted, I think. So I've been into Pokemon cards now for quite a while. You'd uh, know that if you'd been with me from the start, but let's face it, no one was with me from the start. I'm barely with me from the start. Let's begin with an electric energy. That didn't actually make sense, did it? Pokemon Catcher. 
We have another Lipard, another Frolligator. Okay, this pack is another Toro Cat. This pack is very feeling very deja vu. Hello, Plus Little again. Uh, oh, okay, we got a uh, Weasel. I don't think we pulled a Weasel in the last thing, or maybe we did. We have a Totodile, I think, pulled in the Torkoal. Will it be a Reverse Hollow Pikachu? No, it's a Reverse Hollow Voltorb instead. That pack is, I mean, it's because the set is only 73 cards, but yeah, you get a lot of deja vu. It's why uh, I don't think I'll be buying any more Shining Legend things after this. And the last card, this fellow is... No way. Did we just, we just got another Shining card. Shining Gensect, hello. That is... <laughs> wow, this has been phenomenal, because um, out of the Elite Trainer Box and the three from the Mewtwo pack, uh, I didn't actually get any Shining. Let's see, can I focus on the number there? Maybe a little. There we are. Well, sorry about that, I was just focusing on the number yet again. That is, that's phenomenal, genuinely. So, Shining, uh, shining Arceus, Shining Gensect. Can we finish it off with a Shining Mew? I've seen lots of very nice pictures of Mew there. Uh, of Shining Mew, specifically. That is... Damn, well, what a way to set, uh, you know, send off Shining Legend to me, because, as I said, unless I manage to find them for very cheap or whatever, the, you know, this set is so small that I think I'd actually just save money by buying the you know, 10 or so cards I don't have from this set. So anyway, let's begin our final pack with the Steel Energy. Uh, we have a Super Scoop Up. Spiritomb. Okay, this pack is feeling very different from the last one so far. We have an Incineroar. A Croconaw. A Jinx. I really don't like that Jinx art style. I don't know, it's just... It feels a bit Rayman or Earthworm Jim, but... Jinx just isn't that type of Pokemon, really. Uh, we have a Plusle, a Toracat. Oh, okay, we have Totodile. That's new. Oh, man, okay, we've got a Reverse uh, Zekrom. Will the final card of the final pack be a Shining Pokemon? Come on, fingers crossed. If I was one of those big YouTubers that say, leave a link, leave a comment in the comment section below and a like, but I don't care, you don't have to leave anything. What will it be? Okay, it's not a Shining Pokemon, it is just Marshadow. Although Marshadow is indeed hollow. So, you know, I'm not complaining about that. I think I've already pulled one, but whatever. Marshadow is a cute Pokemon. Uh, and, you know, the hollow design is very nice. So, just to recap, we got a Marshadow. We got a Shining Arceus and a Shining Gensect. That's been a pretty darn good opening, if I do say so myself. I'd have been a little bummed if they were just hollows. Because, you know, it'd be nice to maybe pull a GX or something. But overall, that has been pretty darn good. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy this and would like to see more Pokemon card things in the future, maybe consider subscribing, but you don't have to. You can just search it up again. Or maybe you accidentally found this, you know, video on the side of another video or ever. Um, you know, if you liked it, leave a like, I guess, or a comment if you want. But again, don't feel obliged because... That is how democracy works, uh, and we'll just end with a nice close-up on Pikachu. Until next time, goodbye.